the explosion of online businesses and the effectiveness of software as a service has led to a new boom. Marketing automation. This allows marketers to address their customers almost personally and to do so in an economical way that scales with the size of your business. So what is marketing automation and how do we use it? Wouldn't it be great if we could automate all of our marketing goodness? A one and done solution, which means we can set up a marketing program that targets personalized messages to each customer based on their buyer persona and then continues to work for us without us having to intervene. That's the promise of marketing automation. The purpose of marketing automation is to nurture, maintain and deepen relationships with customers. As a result, it is a close relation of customer relationship management, CRM, about which we also have a video. Indeed, there are many platforms that combine CRM and marketing automation in one platform, allowing you to do both processes in a seamless and properly integrated manner. What the automation does is it allows us to deal with hundreds, thousands, tens or hundreds of thousands, even millions of customers in an automated way and in a quasi personal way. I am a sole practitioner. I run my business on my own. And yet my marketing automation allows me to send hundreds of messages a day personalized to individual customers based on what they're interested in and what they've bought, and I don't have to do anything. As a result, marketing automation can generate significant amounts of revenue for the businesses that use it. Yes, there is a high setup cost, and yes, there is a significant cost to use the software, but we expect to find a high return on investment. And even for small businesses like my own, that can really pay. Unlike CRM, which is a much bigger concept than the software we use to enact it, marketing automation is all about the software. As a result, there are many players on the market serving everything from the huge corporate enterprises down to the small one person businesses. However, all of them allow us to create complex sequences of interactions in a quasi personalized way with our customers. And these interactions can be based on actions that our customers take, like telling us what they are interested in and what they're not. There are seven main things that marketing automation can do for us. First is lead generation, finding and starting to nurture potential customers. Second is segmentation, understanding what different customers are interested in, what works in terms of communicating with different customers and therefore treating each customer as a different segment in a different way. Third is lead nurturing, delivering targeted messages which shepherd the potential customer along the customer journey from being interested to considering your product, to buying, to being a customer, to becoming loyal and to buying more of your product. Third is lead scoring. This is where there is a deep overlap between marketing automation and CRM, but lead scoring is all about using the automation and the logic within it to understand how you might prioritize different potential customers and send them different messages based on an estimate of the likelihood that they will buy. Customer lifecycle marketing is all about preparing a sequence of messages to send out at the right time that enable your customer to consider different products, different services as and when they need them. Sixth is customer service and retention. We use our marketing automation to help customers when they have problems and to provide them with guidance and advice that they will find helpful in using our products and in using our services. All of this is about creating customer loyalty 
and therefore generating potential repeat business or even recommendations. Finally, the huge data set that we gather within our marketing automation allows us to calculate the ROI, the return on investment of all our marketing messages. This helps us to evaluate our marketing campaigns and figure out how to develop even better, more cost effective ways of marketing to our customers. So how do we set up marketing automation? Well, necessarily, I'm going to have to put aside some of the factors in this, like developing buyer personas. We have a video on that or getting your marketing mix right. Things like price, product, placement and promotion. We also have lots of videos on the marketing mix itself and the individual elements of it. But once you have all of that, there are lots of things that you need to set up. Landing pages with lead capture boxes that integrate with your marketing automation solution. Information gathering processes like questionnaires and email marketing sequences. The ability to tag leads, to characterize each potential customer with what they've done and what they have told you. And then developing the logic of how to use that tagging to send specific messages and when to send them. Lead management and lead scoring, which enables you to predict behaviors. Links to social marketing and to your CRM system. Behavioral tracking. Marketing analytics. And remarketing or retargeting. Linking your marketing automation system to those special pixels that sit on web pages and find out what people have taken an interest in so that you can continue to pursue them through the internet. We have a video on remarketing or retargeting in the works. The term marketing automation has become something of a 20 teens buzzword. As a result, too many marketers, too many entrepreneurs see this as a magical solution to infinite success in their marketing. Naively, they believe it contains every tool they need to do their digital marketing and that if they just use it, they will be successful. But this is not true. Firstly, you do need other tools alongside your marketing automation tool. But secondly, a fool with a tool is just a fool. Having the tool does not guarantee success. It is how you use it. It is the messages you craft and the decisions you make about who to send them to and when to send them. Ultimately, there is no replacement for a well-crafted marketing strategy executed properly. But neither is marketing automation just a fancy name for email marketing. It can do so much more. The problem we have in the market at the moment, though, is that the line between the traditional email management systems and true marketing automation is getting blurred as more and more email platforms are adding more and more automation or automation like capabilities. Providers that at one time could do little more than send out campaigns of a single email and perhaps sequences of one email after another are now building the logic platforms that enable some elements of true marketing automation. As a result, when your business needs to use marketing automation or simply email marketing, it pays to evaluate very carefully what you will get for your money and to think about how your business might grow and therefore what platform you should invest in so that it is ready to accept that growth and accommodate it when you need it. There is a lot that marketing automation might include. Obviously, there is email messaging, but also it might include direct messaging or text messaging or integration with social media. It needs to be able to grab data from websites and social media platforms and feed that data in and label the customers accordingly. It can track interactions with websites, direct users to specific pages or versions of pages on websites, 
and may include chat facilities, which enables your customers to chat directly with your operators or increasingly with robotic agents. Finally, any good marketing automation needs to be able to integrate properly with your customer relationship management software and with your web analytics. And please, please, please do not use your marketing automation simply to send out spam. Please do give a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.